it gets much higher than this, I don't know where it goes from here. Kansas has an archaic policy driven by insurance companies. Flights are mostly full coming into the air capital of the world. I'm standing in the third base club right now. Already the view is impressive. It's because a lot of people don't read physical books anymore. And that they it's picked up a lot of momentum in the last couple of decades. The challenge now is to keep it going. Impacted by the grounding of the 737 MAX jets, but it is impacting future expansion plans. Chad Hansen is still beating himself up over something that happened in a split second. His two-year-old daughter Ellie hurt in an accident, and he blames himself. What was going through your mind? Not only that she was going to die, but that I killed her. Monday afternoon, Chad was working on his wife Kayla's car. He had finished charging the air conditioner and called out to Ellie, who had been playing outside. When she didn't answer, he backed the car up to take it down the road to test the new installment. That's when things took a turn for the worse. Just assumed she went back in the house because Kayla was home. I uh, backed up the car just a few feet, felt the back of the car go over the top of something. At first I thought there was no way, you know, it was her, but ran around the car and there she was laying underneath the car in between the two tires. Couldn't even describe it. Worst feeling you'll ever have. The family then rushed Ellie to the emergency room. After tests and x-rays, they were surprised and relieved to hear the two-year-old didn't have any broken bones or internal bleeding, just scrapes and bruises. And so we're very blessed and it is a miracle that, you know, God kept her safe and just kind of took her little body around the tire and she didn't come out with any worse injuries. Your husband had posted something very powerful in his post on Facebook. He said he was thankful that he's not planning a funeral. How unimaginable is that thought? very. <laughs> um, God was looking out for her and I am so thankful that that's not what we're doing today. According to kidsandcars.org, every week cars back over at least 50 children in the U.S., with most of them between one and two years old. It's a chilling statistic and a reason Chad hopes sharing his story will spare another family this pain. I know from now on, even if I don't see her around the car, I don't care. I'm not moving until I find them. Just know you can't be too cautious. This girl are you? Hi. <laughs>